Hey, you wood turners, I'm Captain Eddie Castellan. I got another little tool to talk to you about. Yeah, but first, all you got to do is... Boy, I'm ter I got a terrible case of the, the, the kickbacks or the re-ups. Re and they come in groups of three. Makes my grandkids laugh at me. But if you want to stick around and see something... All you got to do is watch. Hey, when I was getting ready to do something on handles and tools and cutters and all the other day, I realized that I've, I've forgotten some folks. And there are a couple of people that do tools that do tools really, really cool. Um, and, it's, and it's done by wood turners for wood turners. This is not a marketing major at some corporation that said, you know, Bob's got such and such, and we need to make one just like it. And what we'll do is, yeah, you don't need all that, okay? This is a little uh, high-speed steel tool made by my friend Ellie Avicera. Yeah, it's, it's about a quarter across on the top, and then it's only about... 3 sixteenths underneath. It's got a little bit of a shape to it. Why? Well, in the way it's used, and it is a parting type tool, you're using just that outside point, that edge. And you don't need a lot of meat and potatoes underneath it. You just need it to... I'm falling off the chair. Can you believe that? You don't need a lot of meat and potatoes to hold it up and keep it level. So, Ellie came up with this. It's made by Ashley Tool Corporation, but he came up with this idea because with no friction now on the bottom, you can make these clean, simple little cuts for doing beads and, and, and fittings and all, but it's a simple little tool, simple. The key to having it work is to have it sharp. To keep it sharp, I just use a diamond stone and stroke it along that edge, get that edge looking good, and then... I don't touch the sides. That's the other key. I don't want to adjust this upper, the upper width on this. I don't want to change that. That I need to have straight. Now I can take my, my diamond stone. And I thought I had it out here a moment ago. And I did, but I don't know where I put it at. But take the diamond stone and just a simple pass. Creates a little bit of an edge up on top. You don't want to taper it way in. You don't want to bulldoze it. You don't want to alter it a lot. All you want to do is knock the top off so it cuts better. That's the deal. If you're looking for these, it's Ellie, E-L-I, Avisera, A-V-I-S-E-R-A, Ellie Avisera Tools. Really nice tool, really nice. It's got a little bit of handle. Oh, wait, wait, did you see that? It's got a little bit of handle. It does. And I can use this pretty well. I am going to fall off this chair today. I don't know why. But you grab onto it and you have complete control. And that's all you're looking for in the shape of your tool handles. Complete control. Now, I would think on this, if I put a ridge right here and then a knuckle, it'd get uncomfortable quick. I don't want it uncomfortable. I want it comfortable and good to grab. So when you make your tool handles, Make them comfortable, make them easy to grab, good to hold, and above all else, put a good finish on them. This has got something that dips in on a bucket, okay? That's all right, but when you do yours, try Obi Shine Juice, which is a... I had to go back up and edit where we were a minute ago. OB Shine Juice is a third, a third, a third, and the three thirds make one. And the one-third is um, the alcohol, and it's denatured alcohol. Number two, one-third is the clear shellac. Don't get the processed product. Just get the shellac that's clear. You're not doing anything major with it, and you're not, except making a finish. But And you don't want the white. You want clear. And if the guy thinks, oh, yeah, it comes out clear, Open the can. Show it to me. Because when I get home and find out it's white, I'm going to wonder what's going on. And white is blended in. 
you don't want to blend it out. All right, and that's two. Number three is boiled linseed oil, B-L-O. You don't boil it. You buy it that way in the paint store. So get a quart of B-L-O, a quart of shellac, and a half gallon of the alcohol. Why do you want a half gallon? Well, when things start going bad, you know, no, you don't want to drink it. What will shrink in that mix? The alcohol will shrink through the container you have it in. So if you have it in a container, like I have right here, uh, this is a container of it. All I have left in here is the oil and the shellac. There's no alcohol. But I have I do know that when it was finished up, it was up about two ounces on this bottle. So I can just splash in some alcohol, mix it back up again, and this is ready to go. Then I'll make note as to where I stop it at. Next time I go get it, if it's been a while, it'll drop a little bit. And I'll need to add some alcohol to get it back up again. You won't screw it up. Alcohol is the easiest thing out of there. It's going to it's gonna dissipate, evaporate, modulate, whatever. It's going to leave. But you still need it to break down at the other two products and they have work right. Okay, so you got that? OB Shine Juice. A lot of these things you can find on my website under sharing information. It's got all the formulas and all that. Okay? Until next time, you be good. Take care and get out there and start making shavings. I'm Captain Eddie. See you later.